Hello, my name is Andrea Lewis, I'm the Chief Nurse at Ashford and St Peter's Hospitals and I'm here to introduce this video on personal protective equipment, PPE. And this is in light of the, of the unfolding situation that we have with regards to COVID-19 uh, within the hospital. And as you'll be aware, we've, we're currently caring for positive patients and those who are suspected of having COVID-19. And as a consequence, the personal protective equipment, the PPE that, that we use, is, is really important. And it's really important that we get it right so we thought it'd be really useful to to do this video to show you um, the different uh, PPE, the different types of PPE that you can use depending on the different patients that you are, you are going to be looking um, after. So hopefully you'll find this useful and, uh, and hopefully it'll make it clear for you uh, because I know there has been a bit of confusion with regards to this. So you feel confident when you go to look after a patient that you are dressed correctly. So without any further ado, I'm now going to hand you over to uh, Glynis Bennett, who is our Infection Prevention Control Nurse Consultant, who's going to talk you through those different types of PPE PPE uh, and the scenarios that uh, you would use it in. This is the process of putting on your PPE for basic care. First of all, you put on your apron. Please make sure it's securely fastened and covers your uniform so you have full protection. Second, you put on your mask. This is a basic surgical mask that's fluid resistant, blue side out. Please make sure that you secure it tightly so that it covers your mouth and nose fully and offers you full protection. And finally, your gloves. Before entering the room or going to the patient, please have a final check to make sure that everything's secure and you're safe to go in. So removing your PPE or doffing is in this process. First of all, remove your gloves, making sure that you don't touch the outside of them as this is the most risky process. Dispose of them in clinical waste and then wash or gel your hands. Then remove your gown. Do not touch the outside of the gown. Remove it gently. Do not shake it and dispose of in the clinical waste. Then wash or gel your hands. Finally, remove the mask, making sure that you don't touch the outside of it. It's the most contaminated area. Dispose of in clinical waste and wash your hands. Some patients with COVID or suspected COVID will require aerosol generating techniques. Therefore, there is more of a risk that you may breathe in some of the viral particles. So for this process, you need the following PPE. First of all, a long sleeve blue gown. Again, try not to touch any of the outside of the gown. Please make sure it's secured at the back so it covers your whole uniform. Secondly, you'll need an FFP3 respiratory mask. These masks you need to be fit tested for. When you apply the mask, please make sure it's tightly fitted around your mouth and nose. There are two straps. One sits at the bottom and one at the top. When you have it on, please check it's tightly fitted to your face and there are no gaps. You then need a visor to protect your eyes. The foam strap of the visor should sit on your forehead. A 
Again, please make sure it's correctly fitted. Finally, your gloves. Make sure the gloves fit tightly around your wrists. And they're fully secured. Before you go into the room, please ask a colleague to check that all of your PPE is on correctly and that you are safe to enter the room before undertaking any procedures. Removing your PPE in this case is really important. Firstly, remove your gloves, making sure you do not touch the outside of them. Dispose of them in the clinical waste and wash or gel your hands. Next, remove your gown. This is probably the most risky part. Please make sure you don't touch the outside of the gown or shake it. Be very gentle removing it. Roll it up. and dispose of in the clinical waste. Wash or gel your hands. Next, remove your eye protection. Do not touch the outside. Remove from the back and dispose of in the clinical waste. Then remove your mask. Remove the stop, top strap first, so the mask falls gently, and then the bottom strap, not touching the outside of the mask. This is the most contaminated part dispose of in the clinical waste, and wash and gel your hands. This PPE will protect all of your uniform and you do not need to wear scrubs if you have your own uniform. Please make an assessment about the PPE that you require. Both the surgical and the FFP3 mask offer the same protection. The reason for the FFP3 mask with aerosol generating procedures is the risk of the small viral particles that may be produced by those procedures. This infection is mainly spread by droplets and a surgical mask protects you against this. It's really important that we use the right PPE at the right time to preserve our long-term stocks and protect ourselves and our colleagues. So hopefully you found that really useful and feel that more confident and are clearer about the different PPE you can use depending on which type of patient you're looking after. If however you'd like any more information, then we do have a really good COVID-19 resource on the internet page. Um, so please uh, do look into that, which is gonna be updated daily. And there is a section on that with regarding PPE. Many thanks.